Hey everybody, how y'all doing? Hey, this is your boy Wes Walker here, also known as Darkfire224. Y'all can check me out on Facebook at Wes Walker, or you guys can uh, hit me up on um, Meet Heathens of the World Unite, also on Facebook. Um, today I'm going to show you how to season a grill. This is a uh, char broiler uh, 50, 50, model 5050, uh, dual gas and charcoal. Um, you see, I got the gas lines hooked up already. Just uh, follow the manufacturer's uh, guidelines on how to do all that. Also, be safe when doing it. Make sure all your fittings are uh, secure. And, uh, oh, yeah, by the way, that's my uh, grilling partner right there, Sheba the Wonder Dog. Uh, she's, when I'm grilling, she's right there. All right, y'all. So, uh, anyway, I'm going to show y'all how to get this all set up. Uh, number one, brand new grill. You know, you want to season a grill like you season a, a cast iron skillet, you know, to keep it from corroding and rusting and so forth. Also, to make it uh, almost like a nonstick surface. Uh, that's the charcoal side. And here's the gas side. Um, what you want to do is take all your grates out, uh, wash those real good with uh, soapy water, uh, rinse them off and towel dry them. Or you got the time air dry them, but I towel dried them. And um, there were bolts here. I took those off already. Uh, makes it easier to slide in and out. And um, what I use the season with is pretty cool. It's uh, something my grandfather had taught me years and years ago. Um, I use a, uh, a cup of uh, baking grease along with a quarter cup of uh, vegetable oil. Well, and, and you don't like bacon, you know, you know, I, I don't know what's wrong with you, but bacon grease is, I don't know what it is, man. There's something about that bacon grease that just does it. And then uh, vegetable oil. If you don't want to use that, you can use straight vegetable oil and a paintbrush. And uh, you want to paint uh, everything, every the whole surface, everything inside uh, the grates, uh, inside the rim, inside the chimney holes, everywhere. You know, so uh, I'm going to get started on that, and uh, I'll get back with you all in a few minutes. All right, peace out. All right, we're back. All right, so just take your uh, paintbrush. Just dip a little bit into the uh, the oil mixture here, the baking grease and the oil, and just start painting, y'all. Just start painting everywhere. Uh, these little bolts and whatnot. I mean, you want to get every last single square into this surface you know you want everything to be um, you know seasoned just right you know and it also um, also smells good so um, I don't think you all need a uh, lesson on painting and whatnot so uh, I'll see you in a bit all right the gas sides done now I'll take care of this charcoal side it's the same process um, if you saw earlier, it was an ash can in here. You don't even have to worry about doing that one. But uh, just get all the sides and whatnot, open the flume, everything. See, got the uh, got the uh, charcoal, the uh, chimney vent there, and all of that. And I'm gonna put it back together in a few minutes, and uh, we'll go from there. All right, now the cold side is done. Uh, next, you want to build a nice little pyramid with like 40, maybe 50 uh, charcoals and uh, show you how that looks in a few moments. All right, folks, um, got my uh, coal built to a pyramid. Normally, I'm a uh, coal wood guy, but I'm using straight coals today just for the seasoning process. You want to heat this bad boy up till about uh, 275, 250, 275 along with the gas side let it go for a couple hours um, then you want to reseason the grates and then uh, go again for another hour or two alright talk to you in a bit alright I got the uh, coals going and the gas side is already lit you can see the temperatures rising on the uh, gas side uh, really can't see the flame that well but you can feel the heat uh, so I'm gonna let this go for a couple hours and uh, we'll check back later all right, now the coals are about uh, starting to turn gray. You want to throw your grates on about now, and then close, uh, 
smooth the uh, coals out, then put the grates on, and then close it up for a while. See, I got the damper open. I'm going to close it up just a little bit, and we'll check the temperature, and we're just going to play around with it until we get it to the right temperature, and we're just going to let it be for a while. Okay, now the grates are on. I'm about to close this lid down, and uh, we're going to let it do what it do. All right, hey, uh, also a big shout out to my boy uh, E. Pike, Eric Pike from uh, Stuttgart, my man Rick Ray uh, from Stuttgart, the Magrillas, the, the Magrillas from Manila. All right, we'll check y'all later. All right, dudes, hey, uh, y'all hit me back, See how? tell me how you all like this, all right? Talk to you later. All right, y'all, it's been about an hour or so. Uh, the temperature's nice, man. Is, uh, still getting some nice smoke off of it. Um, also, I want to give another shout-out to my uh, wife for life, Pat, uh, and my daughters, uh, Gigi and Cookie. And uh, we'll be grilling on this bad boy pretty soon, a couple, uh, couple few days. So uh, y'all check out uh, Meet Heathens Unite on Facebook for uh, more pictures and whatnot and videos and things like that. All right, y'all have a good one. God bless. Merry Christmas. Peace out.